Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer back to kick off round one for group C. And this is where the real fun begins, because we are going to see Blitz types for the first time in this tournament. Right, in our first matchup, we will see MJP10 going up against Carnotaurus Man, Ch the Champions Team going up against Morselet, and Lasagna going up against Stranger Kid. So, yeah, it's going to be a very open group, Group C. It's a really tough group to call. Right, without further ado, let's get on with our first matchup, shall we? Right, here we go. Here's, here's where the fun begins, because MJP10 got two Blitz types. Right, in the red corner for MEJP10, hoping to reach the highs of the last tournament, we have Eucentrosaurus. This Eucentrosaurus is, as you've guessed it, Blitz type. Which means it will always start with a crit. Okay, we are on the Dirt Plains field. No, we're not. We're on the Arid field, which favours Earth dinosaurs, but Water dinosaurs do not like that. Right, backing up Eucentrosaurus, we got Delta Dromius, who, as you guessed, is a Blitz type. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a really interesting match. So i got to be ready on the button. i got to hit the buttons on 10. Uh, right. Okay, oh, hang on. Nope. It's water dinosaurs, but I know Carnotaurus Man has Super Minus in set. Anyway, as for their first dinosaur, the dinosaur is probably, probably going to need to cap team carrier. It's Carnotaurus. And look at that. Maxed up critical move. This Carnotaurus is here to shred. Backing up the Carnotaurus, we've got Super Mimus. Now again, this Super Mimus has terrain disadvantage, so that's going to be a bit of a problem for Carnotaurus now. So as you remember the rules, terrain advantages and disadvantages play out first, then Blitz types, and then Quick Strike. Oh, hang on, I think MEJB10 also has Quick Strike as well on the Eucentrosaurus. This'll be interesting. Right. <coughs> Right, so Emmy's first move will be a crit because he sent the source his blitz type. Oh, he get the crit! Okay, so Emmy JP10 wants to swap out when HP is below half, and Carnotaurus when HP is in the red, and it is a strong start from Emmy JP10. Right, and because this you sent has quick strike, their next move will be scissors. Ooh, and Carnotaurus Man needs to swap out here. Oh, he doesn't! Disaster for Carnotaurus Man! The Carnotaurus is going down straight away! Wow, wow, that was a blitz. That was a blitz Krieg. Over in a flash! Well, and the Sukumimus has terrain disadvantage, so MEJP10 is going to get another crit. Oh my god. Terrain advan terrain disadvantage, blitz type, quick strike. Oh my god, wow. This might actually be the quickest win we have ever seen in a tournament. It's a tie. Ooh, maybe not. The Super Minus getting a hit. Carnotaurus man finally on the board. But yeah, so far this has been a match to forget. Wow, with the type disadvantage. That's an impressive amount of damage. Fair play. But again, it's Super Minus. I think it's Crisis type, so not really a surprise. Right, is that cut? I think that you sent the swords is below half. Okay, now it definitely is. And yeah, there it is. Game over. Well, that was quick. <laughs> that was quick as a wink. MEJP10 gets off to a winning start. And Carnotaurus Man will be licking his wounds. Wow. That, my friends, is the power of Blitz type. I mean, it's not even that good. It's just the fact that really Carnotaurus Man just couldn't get that crucial move. Right, on to our next matchup, shall we? And let's see if it lasts longer than this one did. Right, this should be interesting because the champions team does have the upper hand here. Ooh, we're on the Sunset Beach field, and that, in fact, will favour Mouse. Actually, it'll favour her very nicely. Both of her dinosaurs, well, the first dinosaur will have terrain advantage, but the second dinosaur will have terrain disadvantage, so kind of a double-edged sword there. 
Well, anyway, as for the champion team's first dinosaur, you got Alpha Chasmosaurus there, champion of the Lightning Assault Tournament. And backing it up, we got the king of the Kakashin era, the Rugops. Both of these dinosaurs were very effective in their respective mini tournaments and will surely make an impressive team. Right, in the blue corner for Mouse, we got the Augustinia, which has terrain advantage, as I mentioned earlier. So it will get the first hit. And that hit will be a scissors hit. <coughs> so getting that Futaba cannon triggered straight away will definitely come in handy. However, a slight issue for Mouse is that the second dinosaur is Uluru Titan, which will have terrain disadvantage. Yes, double-edged sword there, I think. But we'll see how Mouse fares in this matchup. Getting the first hit could be crucial, could be important. There's a train advantage going. Okay, so the champion's team wants to swap. Oh, they both want to swap when HP is below half. Okay, that makes things easier. Ooh, a hit from Mouse, but the Chasmosaurus strikes back. Deals decent damage. But triggers the Hydro Cut up. Look, here comes another hit from the Kazi. It's a banana surprise. Augustinia in for a nice surprise. Whee! Ooh, we gotta support the fact. The Rugops coming in there with the Cyclone. And it's a solid start from the Champions team. Ooh, but Mouse getting that crucial swap, and that could be crucial. Because when the Augustinia comes back in, it will have terrain advantage again. Well, terrain advantage against the Rugops would be really handy because it'll get a crit. The counter blitz getting triggered there and the swap being successful. The important swap that can be for Mouse. Okay, so the Chasmosaurus will attempt the swap and in fact, with the counter blitz, he's guaranteed the swap. But it's a banana surprise. Actually, yeah, terrain disadvantage. I forgot to do the terrain disadvantage, but it didn't matter anyway. Mouse got hit anyway. So it didn't matter, I suppose. Oops. <laughs> That's the first mistake I've actually made. Well, it's that, yeah, it's the first mistake I've actually made. Mm, can, the, can the Urua Titan get the swap? A swap would be crucial. Get that Augustinia back in the ring. Oh no, it's a ninja attack! Disaster for Mouse! The Ulra Titan's going down, and the Augustinia's got it all to do. One saving grace, though, is as I said, because of the terrain advantage, Augustinia will get a crit. And that crit will be Hydro Cutter. So I wouldn't count Mouse out yet. Here comes the Hydro Cutter. Oh, oh wow, I did a decent amount of damage. Respectable damage they done. Well, if Mouse can get a hit here. It's a tie. Oh, they're both blunder types. Oh no, the uh, thingy's got a move breaker. Here's another tie. Ties will suit the Rugops, but that will suit Mouse. A crit to finish off Rugops there. And get a cheap hit on the Chasmosaurus. Of course, sadly for Mouse, there'll be no terrain advantage. Mm. Oh, is it tie? Can't afford another one of those. Ooh, wait. Well, okay. It won't kill the Chasmosaurus, but Mouse might have just guaranteed itself at least a losing bonus point. This Chasmosaurus' HP goes in the red. And it does! That means both of our combatants will walk away with at least something. Oh, 
Robin is the champion. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, my God. Wow. Insult. Insult injury. The champion's team gets the hit. It's a happy pudding which actually denies Mouse the losing bonus point and gives the champion's team the win. Wow. <laughs> that is insult. That is insult at the highest level from the champion's team. You take all three points and then you heal up to deny Mouse the losing bonus point. And that was actually probably the best match of the tournament so far, if I'm honest. Really tight. Could have gone either way, but it went the champion's team way. Right then, on to our final match of this session. Right, we should be in for an interesting match here. Okie dokie, in the red corner, for Lozenge, or Lasagna as I like to call them, we have the Mega Raptor. The only other person besides myself using Mega Raptor in this tournament, so I'm sure they will do well. Okay, we are on the meadow field. And that is very good news for Stranger Kid. But anyway, backing up the Mega Raptor, we have a Baryonyx. Baryonyx, a pretty solid dinosaur. Could could see some shockwave support effects coming in. However, in the blue corner, for Stranger Kid, we have got the Parasaurolophus. Despite having the type disadvantage, it does have terrain advantage on this field, so this Parasaurolophus will get the first hit, which will be a big foot assault. Backing up the parrot, we have got an Ampelosaurus. Ampelosaurus, a pain in the ass dinosaur, because of the spikes on his back being all over the place and not symmetrical. At least I don't think they're symmetrical. I'm not convinced. Although, using two gold, I'm not sure that um, a, a stranger kid will get much in the way of support effects. Okay. Stream. Okay, yeah. Group C is actually the easy group because everyone, everyone other than Carnotaurus Man wants to swap when HP is below half, so I can put that away. Actually, no, I can't. I need it for the power terrain advantage. <laughs> but yeah, look at that. Terrain advantage. That hit could be crucial, though. Especially given that Parasaurus has the type disadvantage here. Ooh, getting off a crit. A strong start from Stranger Kid. Can you imagine if it's me and this guy in the fight? <laughs> we'll have Stranger Kid versus Stranger Kid. Dun 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 dun. Ooh, Mega Raptor getting the swap. Although, swapping is not really strategical, a strategically good idea, but. The guy has to swap when HP is below half, so tough. <laughs> Baryonyx coming in, and my Mega Raptor will heal up. Wait, wait, this is Super Barry? Um, hang on, I need to check the Awaken Mode. Okay, the Awaken Mode's on free. I forgot, I forgot this is Super Barry. Ooh, Super Barry getting the first hit, and it's a crit. So you know what that means? It's Aqua Whip time. Gonna give that Parasaur off as a good whip in. Right, that's twice. Loz and Jay doing well so far. Ooh, getting a tie. Oh, the swap's gonna fail. Baryonyx cutting in with a dash grind, and it'll be awakening time for it next round. Well, they're both water dinosaurs, so there'll be no terrain advantage or disadvantage to worry about. So the Baryonyx could have a good chance to land major damage on this Amplosaurus. And things not looking good for Stranger Kid. Ooh, as a tie, I'll probably suit Lozenge. And that's game over. Aqua Whip coming in, and a bonus point win incoming for Lozenge. And Stranger Kid will just have to go again. Even with a terrain advantage, couldn't take full advantage of it, and is defeated. And that's a bonus point win for Lozenge. To conclude round one for Group C, so we'll have a quick look at our table, shall we? Wow, that, wow these, ma these matches really quick, especially the first one. Like, it was over in a blink of an eye. 
Uh, Meet JP10 and Lozon J getting bonus point wins off to a strong start. The champions team narrowly getting the win over Moors and even denying them the losing bonus point. And because I felt bad for Moors, I decided to put her in fourth. <laughs> so yeah, let's see what round two features. Ooh, so we will see Moors going up against Lozenge. And then Carnotaurus Man taking on Stranger Kid. That could be an important match at the bottom there. Don't want to be cut adrift early on. And MEJP10 taking on the Champions team. A chance for one of these two to establish a lead. And yes, that's it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed. And make sure you subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss out on and upcoming matches in this tournament and until then this is Jamie Gamer signing out.